today YouTube is testing me. Unfortunately, last night I made many, many mistakes. I had a lot to drink last night. I stayed up partying with my wife and friends and family till about four in the morning. I made many mistakes, many regrets, and it's very, very fuzzy what happened last night. So today I am vulnerable. I'm a little tender. I am literally tender today. I asked my nephew, who is a trained boxer, how hard can he punch? That was a question I regret asking. Thank you very much, Mac. My shoulder is tender, but I did ask for it. So it's not your fault. It's absolutely my fault. That I asked you to do that. I also remember acting like a pirate, wrapping a towel around my head and pretending I'm a pirate. So what do I do? What do I do? Oh, I think I also got ordained as well last night. That was something, I don't know why I did that. Just heavy, absolutely heavy. You're on a walk and talk with me today. I thought I'd bring you out and show you where I live. I'm sorry about the wind noise, but you get beautiful views. So pros and cons, I'm gonna show you these beautiful views. Now this is where I live. How gorgeous is it around here? This is West Yorkshire. This is Huddersfield, West Yorkshire. So this is where I live. Hope you enjoy the views. We'll go for some more walk and talk. I hope the wind noise isn't too bad for you. This is trial and error stuff that I'm going through now. So I'm just hoping that it works for you. This week has been an interesting one on YouTube. I've continued to upload my videos. Oh, there's a lot of balance in here. So if I fall over, I might get a lot of views. I don't want to. I would rather stay on my feet and get less views than fall over and get a million views. So I'm gonna try and stay on my feet here. YouTube this week has been good. The progress this week, I've been uploading a lot more videos. I'm getting a lot better with my video editing. I've got two videos coming up very, very soon. And I'm very happy with the videos itself. After editing, I'm really, really proud of myself for these upcoming two videos. So oh, I've got a little jump here. Oh God, oh, that rock was wobbly. So yes, I'm very proud of my upcoming two videos. I'm really looking forward to them. I hope that everyone else sees how, I hope everyone else kind of sees that they are good as well. But I just keep trying. It's a strange one. When I see it, when I think a video is good and interesting, and I think a lot of people want to see it, no one wants to see it. It doesn't perform well. But then when I post a video that I think is actually not so great, everyone wants to see it. So it's a really strange one. I'm trying to notice those patterns of what is happening on YouTube. And so I could take advantage and understand what people want to see. But so it's a really tricky one. I also on my last video, that your time isn't your time video. On that one, I deliberately made the thumbnail gray. Off, that's off brand for me because a lot of my thumbnails, and I told you in previous weeks that my thumbnails need to be bright and contrasting. It was an experiment to have a very gray thumbnail and see how that hits. And I think it worked well. I think in comparison to the other videos, it's actually working quite well. It's actually getting a lot of views. So again, it's just so confusing what people like to see, but that's the whole point of getting involved on YouTube, isn't it? Is to trial and error, learn from your mistakes. I've also been looking into the thumbnails as well. I'm testing myself today, by the way. When I haven't had a drink, I am very introverted. I do not feel comfortable in public. I'm very, very comfortable by myself. So today, recording outside, if someone walks by, I'm gonna die inside. If someone walks by and sees me filming, I'm actually gonna die inside a little bit. But I'm gonna try my very best. I'm gonna test myself and try my very best to continue filming through it through some a passerby or something like that. A lot of you might think that's very easy to do, but for me, it's quite difficult. So I'm dreading actually seeing, walking past someone and someone seeing me filming, I'm kind of cringing a little bit, but I've just got to keep, keep doing it. I've got to test myself. But this week I have still been studying thumbnails and I'm studying the words on thumbnails. So I do understand they need to be they need to be bright, contrasting, and the words need to be simple and basic. But now I'm trying to tie those words in with the title. Previously, I was putting very similar words in the title in the thumbnail, and I think that was an opportunity missed. 
So there is a, a video coming up that I've got on uh, how Dick's ways to retire early. And on the thumbnail, it says stop wasting time. So that is actually, I haven't written that down in the title of the video. It's the words are separate and different on the actual thumbnail. So I think that's gonna be interesting to see how that hits. I have seen that on a lot of other channels as well. So hopefully it works. What I've also been doing as well, just before I start my thumbnail, is I do a YouTube search for a very similar video. I put the title of my video in YouTube and it'll show me very similar videos. So I look at their thumbnails. I don't copy them exactly. I want to know if my thumbnail will stand out in comparison to their thumbnails. So that is what I'm trying at the moment. And I think it works. It gives me some guidance on what to do when I create that thumbnail but I'm still experimenting. I think even Mr. Beast even said that he experimented with thumbnails for years. It was like a full-time job, experimenting, researching thumbnails, how it hits. So it isn't just something that you can do in one week. I'm trying to blast through different experiences that I can get out of YouTube. And once my initial knowledge gap and knowledge experience plateaus, I can really then search and do more research on one particular topic. But at the moment, it's just everything's all scattered. All the things that you've got to learn, all the things that you experiment with, all the experience that you gain, it's, at the moment, it's everywhere. It's chaotic. In my mind, it's going all over the place. Literally, I'm getting up early on the morning. I normally sleep in until maybe 9, 10 o'clock on my days off. But now I'm waking up at 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock in the morning. My mind is just racing about YouTube. I'm actually lacking a bit of sleep, but I know how this works. Whenever I've moved the jobs in the past, this always happens. My mind goes racing 100 miles an hour when it comes to a certain particular topic. However, that usually dies down. So I'm expecting that to die down soon. But at the moment, I am getting a little bit of lack of sleep because of YouTube. But absolutely, I'm gonna continue doing it. I still really, really enjoy it. That's just one of the negative things about YouTube that especially just starting out on YouTube is your brain goes 100 miles an hour and it doesn't shut off and it doesn't allow you to sleep. So that is a little negative, but still worth it. Still worth continuing doing these videos. Another negative as well, I'm going on a bit of a moan I think it's because I'm hungover. I'm going on a bit of a moan today. Uh, another negative is when you do go out drinking with your family, you made a promise to yourself to upload videos. And today I wanted nothing more just to lay on the sofa and eat sugary things, loads and loads of sugary things, but I couldn't. I said to myself, nope, I made a promise to myself. I made a promise to you, my subscribers. So I am here posting this video. I've come out to for a beautiful walk. It's gorgeous. There's a car passing by. This is part of the cringe where I'm hoping they don't see me, but I am kind of cringing a little bit. Oh, got a gentleman here. Hi. I'm absolutely dying inside that someone seen me film a video, but I let it happen. I continued. I actually goosebumps cringing inside a little bit. That's another thing, isn't it? So I'm not used to it. There's another person coming here. I'm, I'm committed now. I'm committed. That gentleman, thank you to the gentleman for testing me and getting through that. Uh, so there's a lady coming here as well. I'm, I'm committed now. I'm committing to people seeing me record. Hi. Look at the tag bag, dogs. See, this, that was hard, very hard for me to allow people to see me recording on camera. I'm still goose, I'm still got loads of goosebumps. That's the first time someone's seen me recording on camera on this YouTube channel. But they don't care, they just don't care. I know they don't care about this, what I'm doing here. But for some reason, some reason in my mind, I'm absolutely dying when I see someone and I'm recording and they're seeing me record. And I'm thinking, what are they thinking? Truth be told, they don't really care. But I'm really glad I got the opportunity there. I'm really glad two people have seen me record now. Let's make it a habit. Let's make sure people see me record and I get more and more comfortable filming these videos. What a test. I like these walk and talks. These are pretty good. We're going for 10 minutes now. These are pretty good. I'm gonna try and call it a day just about here. I'll give you one last view of where I live because it's so beautiful. This is West Yorkshire Huddersfield. Got a full spin around here. I've had people comment from 
India, Australia, Tennessee, in the United States. I've had people comment from around the world. So if you are interested in watching any TV shows that are located where I'm from here in Huddersfield, West Yorkshire, there's a few TV shows that are actually pretty good, but they're not exactly just here. They're like maybe just over that hill or something like that. So there's a few, one con is called Last of the Summer Wine. That is a very old one, but it is brilliant. Absolute classic where I'm from here. If you're interested in soaps, then you could watch Emmerdale. That again is just a little bit over that way. And if you like your comedies, there's one called Brassic, which is absolutely brilliant. It's one of my favorite TV shows. It is funny. So Brassic, Emmerdale Farm, and Last of the Summer Wine. These are filmed around these areas. So if you are from another place in the world, give them a watch and you can see more around these areas. But I will do some more walk and talks in future. I do need to get in the habit of filming these videos. If you are interested in taking more walks with me, then please click the subscribe button, click the notification bell. We're heading home now, so I'll give you some YouTube analytics for week two of my journey to road to monetization on YouTube. Let me know what you think about these walk and talks. Do you hate these walk and talks? Is the camera too shaky and all over the place? Do you prefer it when I film at home in my home office? Let me know what you think in the description below. Don't forget to like, so hit the notification bell so you can see all the future videos. And hopefully the YouTube analytics are going to be very friendly to us in week two. We're back in the home office now and it's time to look into the analytics for the last seven days of this week on our road to monetization on YouTube. So let's get into it. This week in the last seven days, I have gained 14 new subscribers. That is crazy, absolutely crazy, 14 new subscribers. I really was not expecting that. The total number of subscribers that we have now is 111 subscribers which is brilliant. At this early stage, I was not expecting this. At this early stage, I was expecting much, much slower progress. So I'm really impressed with these subscriber analytics. The watch time for this week, if I remember correctly last week, the watch time was 12.9 watch hours in the last seven days. That was last week. This week, we're at 13.8 watch hours, which is brilliant. We're getting an increase on those watch hours. We're I'm looking for that positive momentum, that increase on the previous week. That's the best I can ask for there. The number of views this week is 323 views. This is just crazy. Again, this is absolutely crazy to me. This type of momentum I did not expect at this early stage. I anticipated that I may get this amount of views quite a way down the road, maybe after a few months of being on YouTube, but for the second week to have 14 new subscribers, 13.8 watch hours and 323 views in seven days is absolutely nuts. That is super, super awesome. And I'm so happy with the progress that I'm making so far. This video is an update on the data analytics. I did promise you that I would release these videos every single week until I am monetized. However long that takes, I promise that I will do this. So going forward every single week, expect to have another video like this on a progress update. If you do want to watch those future analytic update videos and see my progress on YouTube, then please do not forget to click the like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you are reminded every single time I release an analytic video. I create a playlist on the road to monetization so you can watch all the videos from the very beginning in my progress on my road to monetization on YouTube. If you want to watch my very first video that I released on my road to monetization, click on this video right here and start binging it from the beginning and check my progress.